Hey guys, you're welcome to my channel. Um, this is just the, an introduction to Star Pro Connect. Um, after the introduction, I'm going to show you how um, to model and design a, a water tank stand, elevated water tank. As you can see, I've already finished the design, but I'll take my time to show you everything from beginning to end. Yeah, how is modeled, how is loaded, everything has been done. We are going to do everything from beginning to end. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out. We are going to have a lot of things happening in this channel. I'm very much ready for you. So I want you to also get ready for me by subscribing and clicking the bell button. If you check, you see the, the, the water tank stand. Um, it has a, 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 an access ladder. Yes, and landing at uh, different heights. If you look at uh, the top, you see the access and the, and the ladder even extended so that the tank height could be assessed. So it's a very um, educative one. And I believe that if you stay tuned, you are going to benefit a whole lot. If you check, uh, the, um, even the loading, the structure has been loaded. If you check the loading, you see my primary loads, the wind load, inclusive, then the load combinations, a whole lot. We are going to are going to grab that has been analyzed. Then the design has been done. It's just for me to. To, to, to show you how all these things are, are being done. It's going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. If you have no knowledge about Star Pro, this is for you. Even if you have been using Star Pro before, this is also for you because you are going to learn something differently. And again, the modeling aspect, I'm going to show you how you can model without wasting a lot of time. It's going to be a very interesting one. So please, don't miss out okay let's go to the business of the day the first thing to do is to launch the the the, the software from your windows by double clicking was simple as that just double click the software you to get you to this page now as you can see i've already launched my own so on this page you have basically three things to touch this one is model information you are going to make sure it's on analytical Yes, you use analytica. You go to, then from here you save you save the the project name. What are you doing? Like in our case, that in our next class we're going to be doing water tank stand. Which you can just write it there. Then from here you browse through to select where you want to save the the the, the folder where you want to save the your work. It's advisable to always create a new folder for every project because Star Pro comes with a lot of backups. So when you when when you, when you save a Star Pro work in a folder, after working, if you go back to open that folder, you find out that you have a lot of files in that folder. So if you just save on your desktop, you will just flood your desktop with a lot of files. So it's advisable you open a folder for a particular project. Then you go to job information. You fill it up if you want to, because it, this particular one is a is actually optional. If you want to use a use Star Pro output template, you, you need to fill it up because um if you don't fill it up, the header and footer of the output will not have your information. So when you fill all these things now and you and you print out with their template, it will have your the name of the job, the uh, client, uh, uh, client name, uh, uh, the 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 engineer's name and checker's name, all those things, supervisors and the rest of them data, and it will have it on the footer, header and footer of the output. But in case you don't want to use the output, you can just ignore. It's not uh, it's optional. After filling the job information when necessary, then you. You click on configure. This configure enables you to 
choose your language which is English for my own case then base unit if you want to use a uh, imperial pounds and uh, and feet you select English then for me I prefer metric as for Newton kilo Newton meter mm yes then global axis y up I me mean, I prefer y up you can as well choose z up but don't let it confuse you anyone you, you are using should be consistent with it you can as well change the background of the star pro I me mean, I use I'm using white then after that you hit okay then you click on create yeah here we are this is the new interface of the um star pro connect edition which is totally different from the the, the, the previous version like star pro v8i and the rest of them they are different so many people are finding it difficult to use this particular new version because of the, the way the icons has been rearranged uh, some tools are no longer where they used to be and that's the reason major reason why i'm doing this introduction that all of us will be on the same page those who have been using the old version can get to understand um this new version gets um to know where the the tools are allocated so that when we kick start our elevator water tank design everybody will be on the same page will be moving with the same pace so um we are going to start with the file menu file menu shows us the you want to create a new project this one you want to open the one you already have in your system yeah you want to save your work as you work you save you want to save it with another name that savers you want to print a report reporting you want to do settings if you come to settings you can display option a lot of things setting set structure colors you want your column to have a different color your beam have a different color uh, um, um, structural to pit options we are going to explore all these by the time we start our work proper and after that we have geometry geometry is where we do the model start modeling the major tool for modeling here is add beam we're going to be using add beam like in sharp pro we don't really have column yes you will be surprised <laughs> But we use this beam to model our column and our beams. So the function of a, a member is what determines whether if it is column or beam. So if it is vertical, then it's column. If it is horizontal, then it is a, a beam. So you can don't expect to see add column. It doesn't exist here. It's add beam. So use beam to draw all our vertical members and all our horizontal members. We can use insert node to insert node at any place. This is add plate. Add plate is for if you are doing concrete design, if you want to add a concrete slab, you use add plate. If you want to add the grating on a platform, you use add plate. That's what the function is. Then generate mesh. Of course, you know we are using finite element. When you you, you have something like a slab or, or, or yes, a slab, you have to mesh it. For proper transfer of load from slab to beam and from beam to column so if you fail to, to mesh your slab you know, what you are doing is you are just trying to transfer load directly from slab to columns which is not the proper thing to do so we mesh we are going to explore all these things as time goes on we have this structure wizard this structure wizard is another tool that is very powerful uh, which makes our model much more easier for some people who like using them anyway i'm going to show you a better way of modeling which you will appreciate so here we have a, a prototype models just like a template when you double click it double click one in case if this is it looks like what you want to model you can simply double click it then come here you you, you choose the length the height the width 
the number of days along the length and along with as well. When you click apply, the structure will just appear. Yes, and you are done with it. Very, very useful. There are so many things under on the, on the geometry, um, but as time goes on, we are going to explore a lot of them. We have a translational, repeat, and circular, repeat. You know. Yes, then you go to view. So uh, let me just go to where I have structure so that you are uh, able to appreciate um, all those things I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain here. So now when you come, when you come to view, use uh, this uh, isometric view, all these tools here to you know toggle the structures, move it to see the up, you know, you see a bottom view, see side view, uh, left view, sorry. Just be you know playing around it. Any 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 view you want to behold, this helps you to do that. You get as for all the views. Then sometimes you, you there are sometimes you you show just show a part of a part of your structure and uh, on that view show a part of your structure. You see all, all other ones are, are no longer there. Yeah, so if you go to 3D C yes then if you just click whole structure the whole thing will come back it's very very interesting we are going to show you a whole lot of things if you have not stay subscribed i call upon you now to do that just take two seconds and click that subscribe button and be ready for me i'm coming to feed you with a lot of knowledge i work with professionals we are professionals when it comes to structural designs modeling and, and this analysis and designs we do them professionally then you look at this uh, this this one is 3d want to turn it to 3d you see your 3d model yes and turn it around choose the beauty of what you have done yeah you simply by left clicking left just click and hold then you move you move it around click and hold you move it around and you can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out as well very simple uh, yeah. then move to select see when you want to select the, the what coming to select we have a of course here we have nodes for you to select a node you have to activate the node cursor so to enable you select a node Node cursor. Without node, without node cursor, you cannot select nodes. If you want to select a beam, you have to click activate the beam, the beam cursor, which is this. Without activating it, you cannot select a beam, and you cannot use beam cursor to select node. You can only select beams. For you to select a plate, the same thing. You have to get a plate cursor. To select a plate okay, so you have specification this one is talking about the materials you know show the type of material whether steel or concrete so all of them are still here you have uh, my loading that i've shown you before we have done the loading uh, here we do our load primary load and load combinations then analysis when you have when you don't when you are done with your um, load combination. The next thing is to do analysis. After analysis, you do design. We are going to do all this step by step. A lot of things I'm, I'm I'm going to show you on Star Pro. In fact, even if you need me to, if there's anything in particular you want me to do for you, you want me to still uh, do design and post on my channel for you to have knowledge of. Feel free to tell me requests from just comment, put it down in their comment box. I'm going to attend to any of all the comments and I'm going to I promise you I'm going to do that that which you will request and post it here on my channel. I am out and all out for you to share knowledge and to learn. Yes, stay tuned and don't forget to click that subscription button so that I will be encouraged to dish out a lot of things which I have in my cobot.
which I know will be useful and helpful for you. Meet you next time, next class. Our next class are going to come prepared. It's going to be, it's not going to be far. In a day, time or two, you're going to see that video that will show you how to model all these things. This tutorial you're seeing here, you're going to model them from beginning to end. The shortcuts, which I'm going to tell you, which I know is going to be more useful to you. You know, the easiest way to model, you're going to, you're going to see it on that day. You're going to do them step by step. So if you don't have the software in your laptop, use this window to go and install. Then go through this. Uh, then go through this this introduction so that you get you know used to this uh, uh, interface, work interface of Start Pro Connect. So that when we start, you don't have anything to uh, to complain about or don't get confused along the line. We're going to do the foundation design. We're going to also do connection design. So I will urge you to get involved. Let's work together learn together and do a lot of things together thank you very much <laughs>